Hey folks, I didn't do an intro, so I'm popping in and just telling you that this is a week of me adjusting to school and week of me adjusting back to vlogging, so it is very unorganized, so I, I'm sorry, and I hope you guys like it. Resident of a mansion With halls I'd never mention And rooms that I don't think I've ever seen Skeletons in the closet With shirts So these are the things I'm currently like thinking about Like so I'm just like putting it out there so that it's in the corner of my mind And that's the print final I'm gonna do a student exhibition kind of with the print vinyls hopefully and there's the art sale that will go on in the school I'm not sure if I'm gonna attend that but I'm just gonna keep that in my mind and there's a separate art sale that I might do that I might organize it's up in the air at the moment so I don't know what's gonna happen with that all of my courses are like kind of self-directed so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do and um yeah at the moment I'm kind of up in the air but I have lots of ideas just floating around so I need to kind of organize my my brain thoughts, my brain cells. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Um, I have a friend coming over for dinner later, so I'm gonna cook her some dinner. So before that, I need to write up quickly, write up my project proposal for this semester for my print project. I got something ambitious going on. I'm not sure if it's... <laughs> possible there will be lots of trial and error that is one thing for sure so yeah we'll see what happens um i'm gonna go back to just my laptop i need to work on a few things <laughs> Eating on the light too. <laughs> <laughs> 
is Wednesday. It's been a couple of days again since I last vlogged. Um, I'm slacking this vlogging thing because I kind of took a break over the summer and I'm getting back on my groove so forgive me. Forgive me because I am slacking and I know it but it's it's hard to remind myself that I need to slap on a camera <laughs> when I'm in the you know like the zone um, and before I used to kind of had this switch on my head where I go like I'm gonna be on this zone so it's time for me to turn on my camera which I did pretty well but now I can't really do it very well so forgive me um, so today I'm gonna have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my painting prof um, they're gonna show me well I'm gonna show them um, how my self-directed course would look like for the midterms um, I'm not sure I'm gonna ask them how I am supposed to you know plan for the final because I'm not so sure I might do a continuation of what I'm doing right now um, but again that's what this one-on-one -on -one meeting is for um, so after this I'm gonna go out to Granville Island and go shop for some materials and go gift shopping because I'm going to a f meet a friend I'm going to fly out to Winnipeg it was a totally last minute thing um, I fly out to Winnipeg and meet some old friends so I'm going to go gift shopping while I'm at Granville Island because I like that spot it's good for gift shopping um, yeah so I'm going to do that today I don't know what else I will be able to do today other than that. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to hop on the Zoom call very soon. So I just wanted to update you guys. And I'm still in the process of trying to quit coffee so this is my little tea bag. Um, I, I'm, I haven't quit coffee just yet. I just drink coffee occasionally. I do think that's considered quitting. Um, I'm not dependent on it right now at the moment. Um, so yeah, doing good. And yeah, that's all for now. That's all for now. I don't want to talk more because I'm going to ramble <laughs> nonstop.
okay i'm back so i'll show you i'll give you guys a little haul um i got more than i needed <laughs> again but not really i kind of needed all of these actually Okay, I got five brushes. So, okay, there's only a frayed strand here. So I got these Winsor and Newton um, synthetic hog brushes. I didn't know they existed. They're far more cheaper than the local brand that they have and then I got this Princeton fine round brush and I got a flat brush because I all my flat brushes are so thick these are for washes I know but um, I just need something small so that it doesn't soak up all the pigment so this is for my washes and this is for the painting itself and I also got this um, canvas paper um, apparently this works with oil so I just got it um, the employee was like it works wonderfully on oil so it's just like okay I'll trust you if it doesn't work I'm gonna sue this person he had a thick accent like an English accent what else did I get? and I got clear gesso cause um I'm gonna work on a new project and I need clear gesso I haven't made my canvas yet but I'm, I know I'm gonna use clear gesso because I have a vision well, I'm gonna go and get changed and yeah okay I have decided I will paint I will paint today and I will take you guys with me on this journey because I never do yeah so I'm gonna do some like quick idea sketch paintings you know like quick paintings some oil so I'm gonna use my new brushes I'm so excited and um, the canvas paper because that's the whole reason I got it because I don't want to use up canvas stretched canvas for my sketches it's just absurd so I'm gonna do that um, yeah and I'll get back to you guys get back. <laughs> Okay, so this is what the basic sketch is. Um, I honestly don't know how I'm going to expand from this, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to do more sketches on the canvas and see what the brushes bring. Because pencil and brushes really change my creative process quite a lot. So I'm going to try to transfer this sort of idea onto the canvas with a brush. This is supposed to be for acrylic. I hope this thing works. Hey there, 
another creative talk. Um, I just wanted to pop in and talk about the concept of meaning and symbolism in artworks. And I know that a lot of people have different creative processes, but for myself, I usually build meaning and symbolism as I go along. And especially when it comes to paintings, I would build a meaning as I add colors and shapes and I have been seeing myself explore this idea especially as I went along with my art school journey because even the most abstract pieces would have some sort of meaning to me and I think it's because of the relationship I build with the piece the more time I spend alone with the artwork the deeper the connection I have with the artwork so I just wanted to emphasize that most of my artworks have big or small meanings, but it never starts with a big statement. So if you don't feel inspired because you, your art feels unmeaningful, I'm not sure if that's even a word, if your art feels something that's not deep, you don't have to feel that way, but you just need to start making and look around you your relationships in life, your home, your environment, anything can be part of this artwork and you can put it in and only you need to feel happy about it. And if you could relate to it, someone else easily could. So I just wanted to pop in and say that as a word of encouragement because making art is sometimes really tiring and it's mentally, physically, emotionally training. And yeah, I just wanted to give a little bit of encouragement to people who feel a little bit lost. Because it's a lot of pressure. But sometimes feeling lost is good too. I think that's a story for another time. But um, yeah, I just want to say that. Okay, so this is what I've got. Um, I don't, I kind of like it. I'm, I'm not gonna add this. This is just, I experimented and I was like, I don't like it. But I think I'm gonna go with this idea but kind of refine it a little bit more. This is just the sketch, so yeah. Um, one thing I noticed while using this paper, or I don't even know what it is, it's like so smooth. I'm not used to it, so I'm kind of getting used to how to use this, but at first I didn't like it because it's very different from canvas. It's very smooth and it feels synthetic. And I'm using synthetic brushes as well, so it's like extra smooth. Um, but now that I'm getting more used to this sort of material, I think I like it. It's very smooth and I kind of think this sort of painting should be more smooth because it's because I want to have this very soft romantic look um, yeah so so far this is how it's going I don't want to work on it anymore so I'm just gonna stop right here hello I'm back again I didn't film an outro either, so I'm just here to say thank you for watching this week's video. Um, it's very unorganized. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm very excited to kind of edit my videos and film my videos again. It's exciting to just be in this sort of um, creative zone, and I'm loving it right now. So I hope you guys like it as much as I did. Um, editing this video so I'll see you guys on the next one and I hope the next vlog will be a lot smoother and 
organized and maybe even more creative. I'll see you guys next one. I'm gonna I'm gonna ramble again. Yes, goodbye. Yeah.